Welcome back to Let's Play Fantasy Star 3. And this is going to be the last post commentary Fantasy Star 3 video. Thank God for that. Uh, you don't know how long this has been just taken to edit. Most of it is me forgetting to do so. And the video is just huge. And the random character rates are just bloody so annoying. Now hopefully I can survive until the end of the video. <laughs> this week I've been very busy. Next week I will be very busy again. And the week after I'll be on holiday, which is good for me, not good for my YouTube with any motion accounts. So far, I've only done one freaking video, new video, on YouTube, so far. It's annoyed me, really. But, there's nothing I can do about it. And this, if I should finish this today, this will be the second two videos, which is not good enough. Although, to be fair, I'm not really a video making machine. You can see how many random character, random battles I cut out. Just insane. And the sad bit is, is I pretty much finished finish it, finished practicing for my next main LP. That's the sad part about this. Really, it's the sad part. I don't really want to reveal what it reveal what it is yet, but it's an obscure game, and it's pretty good. Well, it does have its flaws, but it's still a great game. I don't know what I'm standing by board for, because I feel like I've got an incredibly big ego, because yesterday. You didn't see Jan Annie at Mon Theatre, and you'll never guess who raided our coach. Sue Pollard. She's the second celebrity I've ever met. Well, three if you count Mr. Blobby. Also, met the Wurzels. That's really all the sepsis I've seen. But anyway, this is... Oh, crap, I can't remember its name again. Oh, God. Lensol. I think that's the name of the castle. And we have a new enemy. Trip bots or Wava bots, I can't I can't remember the name. But they're equally as pathetic as their blue coloured cousins. Equally pathetic. And as you saw them ring when gained level. That's one thing I hate about when you gain level. It shoots through the text very quite fast. Although I think sewing down the text might remedy that. I always have it in full because I am an impatient, impatient person. Really impatient. Yesterday, Sega finally released Gunsar. He no, not Gunsar. That's already on there. Guardian Heroes on Xbox Live. I done that, downloaded that yesterday, and I freaking love it. I could help here actually, because it's also got an M a, the. I think you can also play the original Saturn version. I think. I'm 
good lord normal is brutal so I think I might consider that although I'm not sure if it's the same as the original Saturn game to be fair I've actually played the Saturn original on emulator now thank you Sega I can now stop pirating the game. Now if only now if only Game Arts released a remake of Luna 2. If only. It's been the most requested game I believe. And it is still haven't remaked it. Although to be fair I don't in all honesty I really don't think It, they would do it exactly in the style of of Still Star Harmony, in all honesty. Mainly because Lunar 2 Internal Blue's map is a little more eventful than Silver Stars with vehicles and all that jazz. So I, don't, I think they may keep the world map as it originally was in the remake, in the original. Personally, I wouldn't mind if they released the original PlayStation version. If they freaking release it on PSN, God Lord, I really hope they do because I've only been, ex I've only experienced Lunar through emulation, and we got some epic lag there. Don't know where the hell that came from, but oh well. <laughs> it was probably the original Camtasia recording, but anyway, as I was saying, the only ones, the only game in the series I actually own a copy of is Silver Star Harmony, and that's because Game Arts released it in Europe on PSN. Download only. So far, I'm that game, I haven't played it in quite a while, but so far I'm. I mean, the mine's in the frontier, and I'm, so far I am bloody enjoying it. It's a little easy now, though, but that's fine with me. One game I really want LP is Easy Up and Fail Ghana, but unfortunately, by that I need to figure out how to. I either have to find a very good PSP emulator or get a capture card and figure out some way to get recording of a PSP game. And recently I found out that they actually someone's actually made a capture card for the Nintendo DS. To be fair, I wouldn't mind having one, to be fair. But unfortunately, I'm not sure if it'll work in my DS or how would I record my voice at the same time. But to be fair, my interest is picked, picked or whatever. I'm really interested in it. I really would like to figure out how the hell it works. Though, how would it? Oh, and more, less important news we've got for you, and she's dead. And you'd like to see why anything other than res and gires is absolutely useless. She is still dead, and that was the wrong technique, either. I could have cut that battle out, but I just wanted to show how you should or should not take anyone who's level one well how you should or should not go into battle with someone with at level one as you see this time are the cold chair box after all this time I do it properly god I don't know why I forgot to defend but oh well also other characters can defend Another character. I'm not sure if it actually probably works, but I've only done it like 
twice. I know, honestly, I want the battle to end quickly. I've done it once with Ren, defending Lena. It's actually probably a good strategy if when your best characters are running out of HP. You can get a stronger character to, do, to defend them. I think how you do this is that if you choose a guard feature, selecting a character with it will allow you to defend them. Selecting yourself will allow you to defend yourself, I think. I believe that's how you do it. But anyway, as I was saying, this capture card. I never heard of a DS capture card. Only until I saw Green Link's one of Green Link's videos. And I was like, really? They made one for the DS? And there's the exit, but I completely passed it like a complete moron. And I passed it again like a complete moron. Why did I do that? Unless I was just trying to grind up. Trying to farm experience for fear. But like any other level 1 character, she loves up very quickly. She'll catch up to the team very quickly as well. And around the end level, she'll either be a higher level than Ain or lower level than Ain. That's something that's annoying about that exit is that. When you go out of it, you're instantly dumped on the world map. You have to go in back into the castle to re-enter the town. Although to be fair, you're going out the side of the castle, so I guess it makes sense. Back to what I was saying. I really but like, I don't know, I think I might look into this capture card device for the Nintendo DS. Because in all honesty, playing a DS game with lag is incredibly annoying and it just gets boring. I mean, every time I try to, I have to fight, oh never mind, videos nearly ended.